Hello? I am going to try to pick this Zeiss Econ VSV again. I picked it yesterday evening. On camera. But accidentally deleted the video. Uh, and emptied the trash before I uh, noticed. This is the interior half. I don't know if I mentioned that already. Uh, with six pins on top and five sliders. The exterior has two more sliders. Oh, that video was nice. Especially the gut, it had everything. Flying pins, flying springs. Mm. <sighs> Would have loved that. But that was not meant to be. Let's do it again. Sliders in these things are the difficult part. Ooh. They want to. Well, th th there are a lot of serrations on them, and they want to drop. Did I overlift three again? I do that all the time. Three, I meant four. Maybe it needs to go higher, because it is still stuck. Let's try.
feels okay. I'm not sure about the third slider. Five, five feels fine. Tube is stuck now, so let's push that up a bit. And try one again. There we go. Whew. All right. Let's get it and try to keep it a bit tidy. I know. I bet you love to see uh, exciting stuff, gutting fails. And if it happens, I won't edit it out. But. I do like my locks and I like to keep them uh, healthy and not ruin them by making stupid and gutting mistakes. Um, let's remove that clip from the back first. Uh, let me see. It's there. So my slider pick is of some use. There we go. Um, I'll lower the camera a little bit. There we go. Um, need a hollow follower for this. Because this part is, as you can see, smaller. Let's get the top pins out first. There you go. As you can see, um, the part that interacts with your pick tip is very small and round, so your pick slips off easy. Um, now, what's the sidebar? Very nice. Oh, what was that flashing? Uh, sidebar. See if I can show you. Oh, some nice focus would be nice. Yes, there it is. Let's put that over here. Uh, small springs. I don't want to lose those. So. 
I want to make sure to get those out. Very carefully. There we go. And uh, slider time. These are sprung, so I'll keep my finger on it because they were only held in place by the key. I'll show you in a minute how they look like. Let's get them out first. And the last one. They all have some have a, a, a spring. All right. As you can see, there are openings for sliders on the other side as well. In the interior side, there are only sliders on this side. Exterior, at least my exterior, has uh, two more pins. I think one and five or four. And didn't really check yet. Um, and that's why the key has grooves for two uh, for for um, as two grooves. Uh, that's where the sidebar goes, and that's where the pins goes. Nothing, nothing extraordinary there. And now, the scary part. This is where it went wrong yesterday. Because I wanted to go too fast. Where I, I want to go too fast. And I always have trouble with this, this hollow. Uh, I have to push harder against... Uh, uh, a pin to keep it in place. That's one. That's how you do it. Let's get the spring out as well. Two. First two are standards. Third one is a spool. Let's get the spring as well, like that. Now let's go to the other side. With pin number six, which is a standard. And the last two should be Spools, if I remember correctly, I do. That went a lot smoother than yesterday. The housing with, as you can see, two sidebar grooves. Um, put that here and let's show you some pins. So, the top pins, the key pins, look like this. Very thin tip. The spools are very cute and tiny. And the most interesting part, of course, are the sliders. They don't have false gates, at least mine don't. Luckily, because that, that would really be uh, annoying if these serrations you see, if, had they been deeper, oh man. That would have been sadistic. Oh, that's not even for challenge lock. Um, Add a couple of deeper serrations. Uh, very well made. So nice. Tolerances are uh, wonderful. Okay, so that's the size Econ BSV interior picked and gutted. Sidebar over there. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching this, maybe learned something, and I'm 
wishing you a very nice day. Goodbye.